Lucius and welcome. We're doing your twin flame reading. Okay, remember that this is not a personalized reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. Okay, I'm going to be doing you on this side, a person on this side. Please remember to put, twist the energies to however it resonates, okay, with you. Right, Aquarius, says, quickly messages before we begin, okay, is that I'm doing a giveaway, okay, and that giveaway has already started, okay. You have up until the 12th, I think it's no, 13th. 13th of June to enter the giveaway. You must be a subscriber. You must be a follower on my Instagram, okay? And you must hashtag Oracle Angels 1122 and leave my Wednesday's videos. These are mandatory, okay? So when you do enter, these are very mandatory, okay? Um, the link is in the description box below, okay? It's the first link you'll see there, okay? Which is actually the link to the competition. You'll see it there. You can't miss it. Also, the launch date for these chakra bracelets are going to be June the 6th. So for those who are interested, it is June the 6th, okay? I've had amazing response for it, and I'm really excited. Um, so, I'm almost blanked out there. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really excited for it. So, and I know you guys will be as well, okay? So, that's the information. Yeah, play. Self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? Do you have enough time or are you booked to the minute? Life goes by so darn fast. Make sure to have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike curiosity and zest. When life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for the stuff that turns you on. Go to the movies, have an adult slumber party, swing at the playground. You're never too old to wee. Let the fun shine in and live a little or a lot all right some of you guys are just really workaholics or just taking things well too serious okay and it's asking you guys to have some fun right let's see what messages the universe has for aquarius some new rising on venus for the month of june for their twin flame reading You have forgive. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Go for gobs. All right. Let's start off with, excuse me, guys. I was supposed to move this and I didn't because it just gives me more room. I have got equipment coming real soon, okay? And once that comes in, we'll have a better view of the cards, okay? Hopefully. So let's see what's going on. Oh, my Aquarius is what a love messages do we have for them for the twin flame reading please guys what twin what messages do we have can we have one more card please for Aquarius is okay let's go to your person see what you need to know for your person okay all right Aquarius let's start with reading Sun Moon rising Venus for the month of June for Aquarius is twin flame reading what do we need to know please angel guides what do we need to know for Aquarius's twin flame reading for the month of June 2020 you guys have a first reading for this morning that's probably what it is <laughs> let's see what is going on well we got your two cards already You've got the Ace of Cups. You've got the Strength. Could be dealing with the Leo. You have the Justice. Libra Energy coming through. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Sun. And you have the Three of Swords. Let's go to your person. What do we need to know about the person that Aquarius is dealing with, please, guys? the lovers we have the world we have the moon we have 
the king knight of wands sorry my mistake you have the magician and you have the tower scorpio virgo cancer pisces gemini you have leo here somewhere as well and taurus let's see what is working well for you and the person in question You have the inner ones and you have the fool. What is not working well between Aquarius and the person in question? Hello? You have the nine of cups. <laughs> you have the nine of cups and you have the five of swords. At the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot right um aquarius is so what i see here okay is that there was a lot of love between you and a certain person here okay and there was a lot of lot of hope for this love okay a lot of a lot of hope okay you had the strength the resilience to keep this love going okay there was a lot of passion okay a lot of desires here is what i'm seeing I feel with this justice card being here, okay, that you felt like there was something here that was not being told to you. There was something here that was not being said to you, okay? And you wanted to find out what the truth was, okay? Or maybe you wanted to tell the truth to this person about a certain situation. And so when you did, okay, you were scared that things were not going to turn out the way they should, okay? Or, the, you know... This person here is going to reject you, perhaps, or this person here is not going to accept it, all right? But when you went, you went with the best of your intentions, okay? Especially with the sun card here, you got Scorpio energy. Um, you know, you went in with the best of your intentions to tell this person the truth. You went in smiling, happy, you know, except perhaps, you know, you were thinking this person is going to accept it. And instead, it led to heartbreak. It led to separation, all right? Moving to your person, I'm seeing here as well that they felt that this was a soulmate connection. There was a lot of love there and everything was looking great. You know, there was completion here. And then they also, they, you see, they thought that you were hiding something. And maybe they were. Or maybe you, you know, they were hiding something and you wanted to know the truth. Remember to flip the energies, okay? Because somebody here was definitely hiding something. Um, somebody here was being a little bit, you know, deceptive in the sense. And... When you came towards this person to offer the feelings, this person may have just said, well, it's nothing serious, okay? It's nothing serious. Or perhaps this person here just wanted to have some fun and was not ready, okay, to have this, um, to get serious, okay? Perhaps this person was not ready here to get serious. They were manifesting something, or they were working on something, all right? In order to get some sort of completion in the situation but it ended up causing a tower moment it ended up causing a breakup it ended up causing destruction okay so let's see what's going on here guys please clarify this reading for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus tell me what do we need to know please for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising Venus tell me about the Ace of Cups please Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Yep, the Two of Wands. You were thinking a lot, okay, about this person. They were on your mind every single day. Whenever you thought about this person, it brought completion, okay, in. It brought completion. Tell me about the strength. But somewhere along the line you were stuck and uh, I think you were stuck because you wanted to speak your truth, okay, to this person. Tell me about the strength. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you regrounded yourself and you saw this person as a perfect connection. This person was the one that you wanted to be with, okay. This person is somebody here who is a very grounded individual. This is somebody here who can really, really look after. You saw a future with this person, okay? You saw this person as somebody who could actually, you know, take care of the home. Uh, this is somebody here who is very much reliable and an honest person. 
I'm telling you about the justice. Tell me about the justice. You have the emperor. I feel like you really wanted to speak the truth. I really do. I feel like you were grounding yourself, okay, and you wanted to speak the truth, or perhaps you were trying to find out the truth from this person, okay, um, and there was this stubborn energy that came in where you were persisting in order to find out what the truth is, okay, from this person. You were like, I need to know the truth. Please tell me what the truth is, okay? So there may have been something here which you felt this person was hiding. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. You have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I felt that, you know, you perhaps felt as if this person here, whatever they were, you know, whatever offer they were making or coming towards you with, you felt that perhaps this person was lying, okay? You felt this per perhaps this person was lying about it, perhaps this person, you know, uh, was not serious to you about, you know, this love connection or how they felt about you. Or perhaps you felt like this person was also taking their love and moving away towards somebody else. Okay. Uh, tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. Your energy came flying out. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. Ace of Swords, you got a breakthrough, okay, in finding out what this truth was, okay, you finally got a breakthrough and you saw the light at the end of the tunnel, okay, when this person finally spoke the truth, okay, <clears throat> whether they spoke the truth or whether you told them the truth, okay, about something that you were hiding or they were hiding, tell me about the Three of Swords, tell me about the Three of Swords, and you're back to being single, Aquarius, and independent, and yes, it hurts you because you don't want it, okay? You don't want it, but you know that it's not a loss, okay? You know, okay, that this here, this heartbreak, you know that you're going to come out of this, okay? You know that you're going to come out of this separation. And maybe you don't want it deep down in your heart somewhere to be single, okay, to be like this. But you know that in the long run it is better because if you know that this person cannot accept the truth or this person here told a lie and whatever that lie was hurt you, to the extent where it caused a breakup or a split up. I mean, you, I feel that this was definitely, um, I feel that this was um, you. You went in and told this person something about the truth and, you know, you're disappointed, you're upset, you're heartbroken that this connection could not work, okay? Um, because you know deep down in your heart that you're upset okay and you're sad that you had to lie to this person but you also know that you told the truth to this person and this person may have created you know a big a big disaster okay like oh my god this is it you know let's see though let's let's go to the lovers tell me about the lovers You have the King of Pentacles and you have the Page of Swords. So this person here is a really grounded person. And this person can also be a very stubborn person. Okay. This person really here saw this as a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection here. Okay. But they were being a little bit vigilant. Okay. They were being a little bit vigilant. Maybe they were just a bit like, okay, let's keep an eye on the situation and see how things go. Okay. Tell me about this world. You have the Hierophant. Oof. This person on a spiritual level definitely saw this relationship going somewhere, okay? They saw this relationship going somewhere in regards to marriage, okay? They saw this connection as a spiritual connection. Tell me about the moon. What happened here? Tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here may have been hiding the fact that they had a family. Somebody here may have been hiding the fact, okay, that, you know, they had a family and, you know, they were married and they just wanted to have some fun, okay? So this person here, you may have had a family, Aquarius, or this person here may have had a family and you found out the truth and you were heartbroken, okay? And this caused, you know, a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow, okay? And you were upset that things didn't work out, but you also know that whatever happened, happened for the best. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. We have a 
have a reversal. We have the six of wands. This person here, okay, fell, fell from shame, okay? They fell from shame. They're ashamed of what they've done. They're ashamed that they were a player. They're ashamed that they, you know, you, they just, they were playing around with you, okay? They really are ashamed, okay? Perhaps you're married to this person as well, and this person here cheated on you, okay? But this person here, okay, is falling back because it broke their ego. It broke their ego, okay? They're feeling really embarrassed about this. Tell me about the magician. Three of Wands. This person is manifesting their future. This person here is manifesting on moving forward. This person here is coming to the realization, okay, that whatever they did, okay, they did wrong. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower, please. The lovers, yeah. They know, okay, that this was a soulmate connection and they know they screwed it up big time, okay. They know that they had a third party situation and that's what screwed this whole situation up. All right. Wow, Aquarius is okay. Um, okay, so we have what's working well. We have the Eight of Wands and the Four. So somebody here is ready to move on from this connection and start a brand new beginning. Somebody here is ready to uh, let go of this um, connection, relocate perhaps or, you know, go on a holiday or travel but ready to have some adventure and start a brand new beginning for themselves okay Aquarius I feel like this will be you okay this is you all right what's not working well is somebody here okay feels like they've won Somebody here feels like they've won. Somebody here feels like they've gained their, you know, their happiness. Somebody here is quite smug because they thought they would, could get away with it. Okay, so it could have been this person who thought that they could get away with it. They could have all their cups and drink out of it. Okay, and they thought they could win. All right, they thought they could win. So they knew what they were doing clearly. Okay. All right, let's see what we have here. Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light, feeling your relationship being healed this very moment. So this is definitely about you, okay, Aquarius, needing to heal, okay, from whatever this person has done. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And there's that full energy right there, see? Starting off all over again, okay? I see what we have for your person. Be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are your own reflection. All right, so this person here may have had a lot of insecurities. This person here may have projected those insecurities onto you. This person here, all right, may have compared you with other lovers that this person may have had. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and memories you have shared with those you love. And I feel like this person here, with that quote there, it makes me feel like this person here may have taken you for a granted, okay? Aquarius is, it feels like they've taken you for granted. All right, I'm going to leave your reading here, okay, Aquarius is, I hope it resonated. If it didn't, simply wasn't your message. Don't forget to smash the like, share and subscribe, all the great stuff. I will see you guys real soon. Take care, bye-bye.